Okay, now uh, let's try to wrap this up in the next two parts, shall we? Okay. Now uh, I want to round this up a bit up here on the end. So let's add two more edge loops over here. Let's drag them about a bit. Okay. Move them about something like this. Okay. Let's res. Actually, no. Let's just drag these points over here a bit and resize them. Okay, that's about it. We'll uh, add a knob over here, a bolt or something, so that uh, the suspension can be tied to something. Okay, let's uh, actually let's reposition this a bit more. Something like this. Let's resize it a bit. Okay. Alrighty. <coughs> Let's add uh, those bolts right now. Okay, where can we actually find the? F nah. Oh, let's just separate these guys and just grab one from here. Okay. Take this little bastard over here. Come on, work with me. Okay. Let's drag this little guy over here. Actually, resize them a bit. Up about here, okay. So not this big, okay. This is not the Flintstones, okay. That's bad enough, I think. Okay, now, uh, yeah, let's let's duplicate this actually, and we're gonna make uh, the other extension, so to speak. Let's drag it about here. I just size it a bit more. Okay, so, uh, let's rotate it a bit more. A bit more. to actually stick out like this just looks uh, nasty okay <coughs> let's drag these vertex points always down okay Make them sort of like this okay let's just drag it so that it uh, looks a bit like uh, the one in the front drag these guys as well. I know I'm fudging up my uh, geometry over here a bit, but meh. We'll have to do. Okay. Uh, right. Let's just pull these guys ways over here. Let's rotate it a bit so that it looks natural. Okay. Right. Okay, now uh, let's go in and uh, make our uh, helix over there for our uh, coil of our suspension. Uh, now, you don't actually find uh, the helix primitive in the polygons tab. You have to go to create polygon primitives and click on helix. All right. Now, let's just uh, drag this out about over here and drag it up. Now let's make it way, 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 way more coiled up. Something like this. Okay. Now the radius. Let's go something. Yeah. Something like this. Okay. Now uh, let's resize it a bit. <coughs> like this. Like this. Okay. Maybe like this. Okay. Yeah, that looks okay. Uh, let's see if you can actually add a few more divisions over here. Let's go for 12. Uh, yeah, I don't uh, actually like uh, the, the fact. Yeah, let's just uh, these uh, two things over here. I basically soften the normals or harden them. You can also find them here. All right. Uh, okay, soften or harden. Okay. Now, uh, basically, a normal is, uh, how can I explain this? Um, if you learned 
in, I don't know, college or uh, high school about uh, physics and how uh, light actually hits a surface. Well, this is pretty much the, exactly the same thing, right? Uh, a normal is basically that uh, vector or s something. The um, actually the um, light, okay, that hits the surface. If we actually soften these, you see, it's gonna look uh, a lot more smoother. If we actually harden this, it'll actually uh, set the normal on uh, each face individually all right so you'll get this uh, aspect anyway with this uh, thing we don't actually want that I don't actually know how well I explained it but yeah there you go it's not uh, really a hard concept to grasp okay let's just uh, position this and see what we uh, actually come up with okay now of course we have to resize it a bit just a here, something like this, I guess. Okay, let's drag it over here, rotate it a bit, dragging it over here, up above, resizing it a bit more. Okay, something along these lines, I guess. Okay, let's move it and just, uh, right, okay, I need, I think it needs a little more rotating about. Okay, let's have a look. Well, it doesn't look too bad, but yeah, let's, I want to resize it a bit more. Something like this. So let's bring it a bit down. Er. Okay. Okay, a little to the left. Okay, and that will have to do. Um, over here we actually have a sort of like a chamber, I guess, where uh, the coil uh, basically gets caught or something, but I'm just gonna leave it like this, for the moment at least. Anyway, let's see what else we have here. Um, yeah, let's make uh, real quick the headlight, the little... Uh, Headlight that we have over here. Okay, so let's see if we actually can uh, repurpose this. Okay, so that we don't have to actually make it again. Okay, let's combine this, recenter its pivot, uh, turn it by 180 degrees. Of course, we are gonna need to actually resize it, but Let's just uh, see how it uh, looks over here. Okay, alrighty. Let's uh, okay. Let's resize it. Uh, I think it's uh, something like uh, this, more or less. Let's uh, turn it around a bit. Maybe flatten it a little. Okay, let's see how it uh, looks over here. Okay, let's put it on the end. Ready? Okay, let's actually uh, resize it so we don't uh, have to see this uh, edge over here. Uh, or just uh, keep it like that. I think it's okay. Let's just resize it a bit more. Okay, I think that'll uh, that'll do. Okay, let's uh, combine this setup that we have over here and just uh, put it on the other side. Okay, so combine. Okay, duplicate this. We center its pivot. Mirror it on the. Come on, work with me. Okay, minus cut them. Okay, put it over yonder. And let's see what we. Okay, something like this. Let, actually, let's take a look at the, no, the top view. Alrighty, what do we have here? Uh, yeah, I think that looks about the same. Yeah, a 
and leave it like leave it like that. Okay. Now uh, let's make uh, the one in the back, the light over here. Okay, so uh, let's make the plate, which uh, the number is set onto. I think it's a little more uh, smaller than that, but anyway. Okay, let's uh, rotate it on the Z axis. Let's put it over here in the back. Somewhere around here, okay. Alright, something like this, but let's resize it a bit more. Put it over here. And yeah, I believe that's about it with it. Oh, let's make it a little more interesting. Since it uh, doesn't cost as much time, let's just extrude this face and push it a bit on, on the inside over here. Just a little bit. Or on the outside, whatever you want. Okay, now let's move it a bit over here. Let's actually tilt it a bit. No. Okay. Something like this, I guess. Let's resize it a bit, actually. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks about right. Um, yeah, let's actually put. Uh, That little slanted uh, piece over here. Just repurpose the object that we made. Okay, let's bring it about here. Okay, it's a bit too big, so let's resize it a bit. Okay, this doesn't see doesn't doesn't stick out. Is it centered? Uh, pretty much. see here something like this I guess okay now mm, nah leave it like that okay <coughs> now let's make that uh, light over here in the back and I think we'll call it uh, quits for this part <coughs> and I'll see you guys in the next okay uh, let's try and uh, repurpose again yet again uh, these two bits over here combine them real quick and see what we can actually come up with I'm gonna have to edit them out uh, a bit more though so let's separate them once again now let's uh, resize this a bit something like this I guess let's bring it over here now, of course, it uh, won't look like uh, exactly like the one in our reference, but uh, we'll make uh, something out of it, I guess. Okay, now let's see what we can actually do with this uh, sphere over here. Let's see if we can. Uh, mm, yeah, I think I'm gonna. Yeah, let's create another sphere. So. Uh, Actually, no, let's go for a, for a cylinder. <coughs> okay, let's rotate it on the x-axis. No. The z-axis. Yes, okay. Let's uh, put it over yonder. Real quick. Okay. Resize it way, way down. Alright. Let's stick it in here. Let's resize it a bit more. Okay, come on. Is it centered? No, of course it's it isn't. But it'll have to do. Okay, something like this, I guess. No. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna have to end it here, and I'll uh, catch you guys in the next part.